right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Quantum Leaps, the show where we interview builders and innovators, investors and artists who are making waves in the Web3 space. We have a very special guest with me today, Snacks, uh, aka one of the many Dread Pizza Roberts from Pizza Dow. Thanks for joining me today. Appreciate it. Yeah, glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Right on. So we, we got to meet each other at NFTLA and uh, I met I met Justin at East Denver uh, when Pizza Dow delivered a, a bunch of pizzas into the middle of the dance floor, delivered by several Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I immediately fell in love with your project. I would say probably, I think I've told you, but like this is one of my favorite projects in the space. Um, and, you know, so for anyone who maybe hasn't heard of Pizza Dao, uh, you know, doesn't doesn't know what the mission is. Could you give us just like a little bit of background on, you know, how it got started and, and what the sort of the goals are or the vision of Pizza Dao? Yeah, absolutely. So Pizza Dao started with the idea that small businesses should be community owned. And then uh, the realization that uh, what unites us here on planet Earth uh, well, one is the internet, two is the blockchain, and three is pizza. And so pizza is a great uh, way to make that a reality uh, because there are more pizzerias on earth than almost any other business uh, and they're everywhere. And so the goal of Pizza Dow is to uh, tokenize every pizzeria on earth and make them community owned. That's incredible. That's incredible. Now, it's a, uh, you know, that's a quite a broad mission, I'd say, you know, could you give us like, a, you know, give us some insight into, you know, what does that look like? How do you tokenize and make a pizzeria community owned? And, you know, how do you, how do you, you know, what are the steps to get to this uh, broader mission? Yeah, so there are, there are a bunch of ways that people are thinking about how to tokenize small businesses. Uh, we've been looking at how Frysdow has been pursuing it with their franchises. And, it's, and their idea is that uh, profits from the business go into repurchasing its own token. So I think that's one model. And then you, you could even get as complex as, you, as paying out dividends to uh, shareholders. So I, I think there are a, a number of designs and we'll probably experiment with several with different pizzerias in our network until we settle on what our, our common standard practice is, uh, which will be determined both from the experience of the restaurants as well as uh, seeing where legislation goes and even pushing along uh, that path. Yeah, that's incredible. So um, how did how did this begin? How, you know, what was the process like of, you know, becoming a DAO? You know, how who were the first people kind of getting into this thing? And, you know, how did it grow? I, I You know, it's quite large now, you know, tens and tens of thousands of members, I believe. Uh, yeah, like there are a few thousand on the Discord and probably tens of thousands who uh, who agree with our mission. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it, it's funny because Web3 really uh, provides a, such a launch pad that you can just put an idea out there and then you can get backing and get uh, energy and enthusiasm. And so the way that Pizza Dow started was that in, in January of 2021, I set up PizzaDow.xyz as a redirect to a Google slide. Uh, and it was a hilariously simple silly Google slide with like, it, ha it had Laszlo and his children, uh, Laszlo who bought the first two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin, the first Bitcoin transaction in 2010. And it had some pizzas over the faces of his kids and it, and it just kind of spelled out our mission. And, uh, and I started telling people that, uh, that small businesses should be community owned and, and, that, uh, and that we should throw a global pizza party. And so it kind I was educating people on Clubhouse about NFTs and Web3. And uh, in February, this kind of crystallized into the Rare Pizzas NFT project, which we which sort of launched the DAO. Uh, and so I was running this room about nothing on Clubhouse, which is a room that I ran, which is like a fun place to kind of, you know, uh, retreat from the shilling and the and the self promotion and just talk about whatever, and and the idea of making a pizza NFT for Pizza Dow came up, and suddenly it picked up crazy amount of steam. So we went from three people in the room to twenty people in the room. We renamed the room to uh, the room about pizza. It got up to like a hundred people in the room. We renamed it to 
pizza plus Web3 equals free pizza. And then it blew up to like two or 300 people in the room. And then uh, we started Discord. It was up to like a thousand members in a week, within a week. And we, and the NFT was this massive collaboration of, at first we said, okay, we're going to have a hundred toppings each by a unique artist. And we said, no, we're going to do 200. And we said, no, we're going to do 314. And we had a hundred toppings within, I think, 48 hours uh, of, of the, the room on Clubhouse. And then, and then artists just continued to swell the ranks. And so before long, we had 314 artists signed up from all over the world doing all manner of ridiculous things that should never be on a pizza. And, and we were off to the races. <laughs> That's awesome. And so the sale goes really well. And now you've got sort of a, a fund, you know, a treasury, you know, and, and how, uh, you know, are all of those artists, all of the, the holders of those pizza, uh, you know, NFT pieces now, now a part of this DAO, or, you know, how, how does, how is the DAO structured? What does, what does voting look like? You know, what sorts of proposals are happening in that space? So most of the proposals we get are just, will we buy pizza uh, at, <laughs> at this place for this event? And, and usually the answer is yes. Um, so, so proposals are maybe a little more uh, simple than other DAOs so far. Um, the, the bargain that we made with the artist was that each artist would get a rare pizza NFT and, and uh, a portion of the sale. And so we ended up giving every artist who contributed a top and got one rare pizza box NFT, which gives you the permission to mint a rare pizza, as well as 0.1 Ethereum. So, and, and we sent that all out. And then we, that allocation was 1,250 of the 10,000 rare pizza boxes. So 314 went to artists. And then we have 314 reserved for the first 314 pizzerias that participated in this network. Uh, we, we haven't delivered many of those yet because we have to onboard them to the blockchain, but the first 314 that get their MetaMask set up will receive uh, a rare pizza box NFT as well as 0.1 ETH for them. And then the rest of the 1250 uh, are reserved for contributors to the project. So anything from development work to uh, managing the artists to managing events, contacting PR, like the whole stack that runs a business we have sort of bootstrapped out of this initial 1250 NFT allocation for pizza down plus the 0.1 ETH per NFT. And then, I mean, and in the long term, uh, we will debut a token to govern the DAO, but we want pizzerias to hold that token and be a part of governance. So we have some education to do before it's time for us to do that. Great. So, you know, it's clearly not the most important thing, but just, uh, you know, for some sort of modern context, what, what is a, one of those pizza boxes or, or, you know, decorated pizzas cost? What's the, the floor price on these pizzas today? So buying them on primary off our website is 0.321 at the moment. And uh, it's on a bonded curve. So they go up in price uh, every purchase. Right now, I think they're increasing by... 0.001 Bitcoin every time someone buys a box. Uh, the last two boxes are 10,000 Bitcoin. So nice. that's a that's a good deal because it's BOGO. You, you buy one for 10,000, you get a second. Nice. Uh, and um, the current floor of, of uh, unopened boxes on OpenSea, I believe, is, is 0.16. Um, the boxes generally trade around the mint price. Uh, some boxes are rarer than others, uh, either by, it's VRF, so there are 100 box designs. Uh, you get a random one. We don't know which one anyone's going to get. So some are rarer than others just because of the VRF. And then some look cooler than others because they have more exciting designs. And so we, we, we generally see the cooler box designs trading at a premium, and some of the more simple ones uh, sell below primary sometimes. Uh, but I mean, it, many of the people who, who hold boxes got them at less than the current prime because it's been increasing. Like it started at, you know, like 0 0.01 ETH even, the first people minted and quickly increased. So, so people have gotten in at all different values. 
Interesting. So, you know, so you've raised some money, you've got a bunch of people around that care about pizza and they're voting on, should we give away free pizza? The answer is usually yes. And, and in this very noble mission, you've, you've achieved some pretty remarkable milestones. Um, could you tell us about some of the highlights? You know, I don't want to uh, spill any of the beans, you know, cause there, there's really, you guys have accomplished like quite a lot in the year. Um, could you tell yeah, us? About so, that? Yeah. So this story would not have been possible. I, I don't think with anything but web three, we started, so I I started telling a lot of people about the idea of Pizza Dow in January 2021. February 18th, 2021, the Rare Pizzas project started. We launched our Rare Pizza Box NFT March 15th, raised 330 ETH. And then two months later, we spent $330,000 on pizza in one day all over the world uh, in over 60 countries. And to date, we've spent almost four hundred thousand uh, dollars giving away pizza. So I, I just I, th- I don't think this would have been possible with any stack before. Um, the the ease of raising the money and the ease of earning trust and buy-in from the community with the NFT, which which represents membership and and participation. Uh, I I think it's an unprecedented uh, thing that we did, and it's. It was all because of the power of coordination that we got from Web3. That's great. So you've given away that, that's a staggering $400,000 plus of free pizza to the world. Uh, that, that's an incredible number. I, you know, and I was speaking with Justin at NFTLA who told me about you guys attended the World Pizza Expo as well. That, that, yeah. sounded, that sounded pretty spectacular. Could you, you tell us a little bit about what happened there? So this is actually our, this is Dow's second year attending the Pizza Expo in Las Vegas. And uh, this year we, we went with a, a full team and we even had uh, two representatives of Pizza Dow compete in the World Pizza Games. And they won second place in, in, in one, of the, uh, one of the challenges they were involved in, the, the team Tandem Neapolitan. So we, I believe we are the first uh, award-winning metaverse pizzeria ever <laughs> which is i know <laughs> not not necessarily somewhere any of us uh thought we'd be a year uh, a year and some change after launch uh, it was amazing and we met i mean we know so many people in the pizza industry now um just from the the power of our mission to throw this global pizza party it's it's made us a lot of friends in, in the industry. And now they're excited. Uh, they, like, we're very good friends with the World Pizza Champions, which is this organization of pizza aioli and mostly in the United States, but they're, they're expanding internationally. And we're actually encouraging them uh, to expand internationally because they are the World Pizza Champions. And, and we have this international community. So, so we are helping them. And, and, uh, and their vice president, actually, uh, he mines Ethereum in his basement. And he is really excited to trial all manner of Web3 tech with his own business. Uh, so so like the, as soon as we're ready to start tokenizing these businesses and, and building NFT loyalty programs and doing all manner of things with Web3, he is ready to trial it and then teach the rest of his network. So we've made great friendships with the pizza community and, and we're just... I think both of us, we're really excited to build with them and they're really excited to build with us. So that is, I mean, that's amazing. And, and they're also, they've been super accepting of, like they are entrepreneurs, the, the pizza, the pizzeria owners and the pizza community. And, and they're, they've always been on the forefront of technology, right? Uh, you know, yeah, pizza was the first Bitcoin transaction. It was also uh, one of the first online transactions. And so we, we, uh, we joke, it's not even really a joke that uh, pizza is tech too, uh, and uh, and that's kind of the the vibe that we came off with at coming out of the Pizza Expo in Vegas. That's amazing. So, just one final question for you uh, before we wrap up. I like to try to keep these these episodes bite sized, no pun intended. Uh, I promise. Um, so, what what's on the horizon for Pizza Dow? What are the what are the things you're looking to do in the next year? I mean, you've achieved an incredible amount in one year. So, 
you know, with, with momentum, you can only imagine that it would get even more and more crazy. So what, what's next? What do you, what would, what, what are your dreams for what it becomes? So Bitcoin pizza day is coming up May 22nd. It's about uh, five and a half weeks away now. And our goal is to spend a million on pizza in a hundred countries in one day. Uh, so to give away a million dollars of pizza. So, so that is really what is coming up right now. And we are, we are reaching out to a ton of Web3 organizations and, and pizza organizations as well, pizza companies, uh, to get support in that mission. So, so we're just signing up partnerships uh, to help make that a reality. So we're really excited about that. And then post Bitcoin Pizza Day, uh, we are going to start tokenizing pizzerias and, and just working with them to figure out the best ways to do it. And uh, in parallel, um, as we raise funds for the treasury and, and, pl and plan our pizza token, uh, we're gonna start developing open source solutions for these pizzerias. Wonderful, amazing stuff. Well, I'll be in Korea on Bitcoin Pizza Day and would love to do my part and uh, you know help spread the pizza love around the world. Uh, but snacks, it's been a pleasure. Thanks so much for uh, for joining me on the show today. Really awesome stuff. Yeah, thanks for having us. Until next time.